Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, as we've covered on here before, the price of film photography is only getting more and more expensive. And with 35mm point and shoots such as the Contax T2 and the Olympus Mu2 reaching absolutely ridiculous prices, I thought what I'd do today is make a video about a point and shoot camera that I picked up from a charity shop for just £10. So this is the Pentax SBO 738 and spoiler alert, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, as I said, I picked it up from a charity shop in the Cotswolds just before Christmas for £10. It even has the £10 label on it still. And I had no idea whether or not it would work. So I popped a battery in it, checked the shutter to make sure that it fired, and then put a roll of Portra 400 on it, eight in it even, and then headed out to put it through its paces. So the 738 is a pretty straightforward point and shoot camera. It has a power zoom that goes from 38mm to 70mm and it's got a variable aperture of 4.8 to 8.5. Uh, it's autofocus, it's got a uh, an auto flash as well that automatically kicks in in low light situations and other than a self timer that's pretty much it. It takes a single CR123A battery which are pretty common with, uh, with cameras of this age and that's literally it. So that's the boring stuff out of the way. Now let's talk about how it actually feels to shoot with this camera. And the first thing that I will say is that this camera has to keep up with you, not the other way around. And what I mean by that is it's not very quick to take photographs with the 738. What I found when I was shooting with it was that I would have to half press the shutter, get the focus, release the shutter, and then press it fully again in order to take an image. I don't know if that's normal, I don't know if that, that's just with this particular model, but I found myself having to do that. Now, that does slow you down, but to be honest, by the time I was eight or 10 frames in, I just got used to doing it and it just became like second nature to do it. But it does mean that taking multiple shots in succession isn't really feasible. Now onto a more positive note, I absolutely love the shape, size, feel, weight of this camera. It feels really nice in the hand, it's really ergonomic and taking shots with it is an absolute breeze. It's got a really clear viewfinder, even though it is absolutely tiny, um, but it's really, really clear. It's got the, your outlines in there so you know what you're shooting. The only thing that I would mention about the viewfinder is that it's got a little green LED to show that you've, uh, you're have you ready to shoot, and that's right at the bottom of the frame, but it can be a little bit distracting at first. The main draw of this camera though is the images that it produces. I have to say that having shot this roll with it, I would say that the images that it produces at 38mm are probably on a par with the images that I get out of my Olympus Mu Zoom. And that's saying something because I absolutely adore this camera and the pictures that it takes. Now when you do zoom in and get towards that 70mm, that's where the difference between this and the Mu is. The Mu is solid all the way through the focal range, however on the 738, once you get past 50mm and especially at 70mm, the image quality does really drop off. The autofocus isn't as sharp. And, uh, and yeah, you can tell us that you've also reached that F8.5 uh, narrowest aperture as well. So yeah, it's, it's definitely something to bear in mind. So the automatic flash works great if you've got a subject in the foreground, as you can see from this image. But to be honest, as you would expect, if you're shooting anything any wider and you've not got that foreground interest, it does next to nothing. Now for a camera that's so cheap and for one that even when it came out was aimed more towards hobbyists and beginners, I'm really quite impressed with the lens on this camera. Yes, it's not as good when you get to sort of 50 and 70 mil, but to be honest with a camera like this, I'm more likely to shoot it wide open at, uh, at 38 mil anyway. Um, but that is the only reason why I would choose the Mu over this and the fact that the Mu is a little bit small, so it's a little bit easier to put in your pocket, but it's very, it is very close between the two. For me though, my main takeaway from this is that the 738 proved the point that I wanted to make when picking it up in the shop, is that you can get 35mm point and shoots that cost less than the price of a roll of film, in fact just over half the price of a roll of film that are still going to get you great results and if you are uh, just looking at starting in film photography or looking at getting your first 35mm camera or if you just want something to pop in your pocket, take out, not have to worry about taking it to the beach or getting it wet, something that you can just throw in a bag that you don't need to stress on. There are definitely cameras out there. So hopefully the 738 has 
persuaded you to get on eBay, get in the charity shops, Facebook Marketplace, even go up into your nan's loft and see what you can find in there. See what you can find and see what you can create with it because that's the most important thing. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.